This week on In the Kitchen with Pete, we're doing a healthy and delicious vegetable soup packed with flavor. Let's start out with doing some prep work. Dice the following vegetables and place them in a bowl. We'll need one cup of diced carrots, two stalks of celery, finely diced, a half of a white onion, finely diced, and three cloves of garlic, finely diced. We'll set that aside for a second while we heat up in our pan one to two teaspoons of olive oil on a medium to high heat. Once that's hot, stir in the diced vegetables. And for our seasonings, we'll add one teaspoon of Italian seasoning and one teaspoon of each salt and pepper. Stir that in for about one minute. Now we'll add 28 ounces of canned diced tomatoes. And the next item's a bit spicy, Rotel. It packs some delicious flavor. It's finely chopped tomatoes and green chilies, so it has a bit of heat. If this isn't for you, just substitute that for more canned tomatoes. Next, we'll add 14 ounces of chickpeas. Make sure they're rinsed before you place them in. And 19 ounces of whole pinto beans. Add six cups of vegetable broth. Chicken broth is an alternative as well. And we'll bring that to a boil, cover, and let simmer for 30 minutes. Now, I'm sure you've seen these in your grocery store these beautiful mixed greens. I just love making salads with them, making my homemade vinaigrettes. Well, I add this to my soups and it's outstanding. Simply rinse it, give it a rough chop, and pack it into a two cup measuring cup. I've already added two cups and here's my second two cups. Just simply stir that in. We'll bring that to a boil Cover it and let it simmer for 15 minutes. I didn't think that I would enjoy a soup so much without the meat, but those beans really make a difference. And add any other vegetables that you like as well. Oh boy, there it is. Doesn't that look delicious? It's all ready to serve up. A nice generous bowl for me, please. I think maybe some nice thick sliced Italian fresh bread might go nice. How about you? I hope you enjoy it. another simple and delicious recipe. If you enjoyed it, I've got many more. Just press that little subscribe button. You'll get notified every time I post a new one. Well, thanks for coming out and watching In the Kitchen with Pete. Until next time, see ya! Mm -hmm.